Okay, you guys. Uh, here we're going to solve some more equations um, and wrap this chapter up. Uh, okay, so section A, solve each equation if possible. Number 1, 6x plus 3x minus 7 equals 38. So first we've got to combine like terms. 6x plus 3x gives me 9x. So bring down the minus 7 and the equals and the 38. So now we're going to add 7 to both sides. Remember, we, we do addition subtraction first when we solve equations. Um, and multiplication and division is last. Uh, order of operations backwards. So the 7s are going to cancel. And then you're going to have uh, the 9x equals 38 plus 7 is 45. And then divide both sides by 9. And you should get uh, uh, x equals 5. OK, let's try another. Number 2. OK, on this one here, you have 7x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 2 uh, equals negative 24. We've got to distribute that 3 through. So I just did uh, 3 times x is 3x. And then I'll do 3 times that 2 is 6. People forget uh, to do the 3 times 2 also. So I just distributed the 3 through. And then now I'm going to combine like terms. 7x plus 3x is 10x. 10x plus 6 equals negative 24. And then we're going to subtract 6 on both sides. Be careful when you subtract the negative 24 minus 6. Um, think of money. Negative 24 is like $24 in the hole, and you're taking away six more dollars, so you're going to be $30 in the hole. So that's going to be negative 30. So 10x equals negative 30. And divide both sides by 10, and you get x equals uh, negative 3. Okay, number 3. Okay, fraction again. 3 fourths times the quantity 2y minus 8 equals 6. Now you can distribute the 3 fourths through, but you're going to end up with fractions. And I say, let's just get rid of the fraction right off the bat uh, by multiplying both sides by that denominator, 4. So notice that it's both sides. So what's going to happen is, is the 4s cancel on the, on the left. And then, I, uh, and then 6 times 4 on the right is 24. And then now we can just distribute that 3 through. So six time, or 3 times 2y is 6. 3 times 8 is 24. There's a minus there. And we're going to add 24 to both sides. And we get 48 over there. And then we divide by 6. And then um, uh, 6 goes into 48 8 times. We get y equals 8. OK? OK, number 4. Uh, this is where we have uh, the variable on both sides of the equation. So try and go step by step on this. 10d minus 6 equals 8d plus 10. OK, let's first get rid of that plus 6. Notice where I put the plus 6 on the right. It's underneath the 10. I don't want to put it underneath the 8d. Because uh, 6 doesn't have a D, so I want to put it underneath the 10. The other thing that's just doesn't, it, it's just a number. Okay? So um, uh, now I have the 6's cancel, 10D equals 8D plus 16. Now the trick is, is uh, if there's any variables on the right-hand side, we get rid of them. So I'm going to subtract 8D from both sides and put it on the left-hand side. And remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So you get 2d equals 16, and then you can divide by 2, and you get um, uh, d equals 8. OK? All right, so again, let's try it again. OK, this time, uh, multiply both sides by 5. And notice I had to do put parentheses on the right, because it's the whole side times 5. It's not just the 9h or just the 7. It's the whole 9h minus 7. OK, so the 5's cancel. And I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 4 through on top. 4 times 15h is 60h. 4 times 35 is 140. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, put the 5 through on the right. I didn't put the arrows through. But uh, 5 times 9h is 45. And then 5 times 7. And then we're going to get rid of the minus 140. And then at the same time, watch this. We can do this at the same time. So I did it in purple. I'm subtracting out the 45h. If there's letters on the right, I get rid of them. If there's numbers on the left, I get rid of them. So that's what the red 140 and the purple negative 45. So when I subtract uh, 60h minus 45h is 15h. Uh, the 140s cancel. The 45h's cancel. And then you get 105. And then when you divide by 15, you get 7. OK? Uh, OK, this is a called a proportion. A fraction equals a fraction. When you have a proportion, you can do this math procedure that everybody's done before. It's called cross-multiplying. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 2x, 2 times x, equals 7 times uh, 12, which is uh, 84. That's where I got 84 from, 7 times 12. Then divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals 42. OK, let's try another one of those. OK, 
Okay, this time we got a, uh, the y minus 1 on top, which is a binomial, two terms. So when I uh, do that, I got to wrap it in parentheses when I cross multiply. So I get 8y minus 1, 8 times the quantity y minus 1 equals 12 times 20. And then I'm going to distribute the 8 through on the left. Uh, 12 times 20 is 240, plus 8 to both sides. Uh, and then you get uh, 8y equals 248. So when you divide, you get 31. All right, and then we have this last part right here, solve each equation for y. These are called literal equations. We talked about these a couple of days ago. So here's number one, 5x plus y equals 10. Just subtract 5x. We're just solving for y, you guys. And common error I've seen kids do is 10 minus 5x is not 5, or it's not 5x. 10 doesn't have an x, so you can't really subtract them. They are not like terms. It's just as y equals 10 minus 5x. Okay, okay. on this one, we're solving for uh, y. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the 4x first. And I get 5y equals 15x minus 20. Now I divide both sides by 5. And you get y on that side. And then watch this, you guys. If 5 goes into everything, it has to go into everything to do this trick. If it doesn't, then I just leave it like that. But 5 goes into 5 once. goes into 15 three times. It goes into 20 four times. So everything's over 1, so you're left with 3x minus 4. Okay? Uh, all right, I'll see you or hear you in the next video.